Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are going to be taking these six split rock mimicry plants, lithops, whatever you want to call them, um, that I got from Lowe's and we're going to be washing them off, taking all of that terrible soil that they shouldn't be in off, and then I'm going to let them dry and we will go back through and evaluate and see what we've got. So anytime you're purchasing any plant that is a lithop or a split rock, you want to go ahead, if it's not coming to you without any soil, but if it comes to you with soil, you want to get that off and that way you can evaluate their roots. The safest way to do this is using water to go ahead and erode all of the soil away. Make sure that you put a colander or something to catch all of this extra soil if you don't want to have a um, sink that doesn't work anymore and use that water to go ahead and do this. It's a lot easier to do this with two hands. So what I'm gonna do is I'm videoing this one to show you what I'm going to be doing. And then what we'll do is after I've done that and after they've dried, I'll come back and we'll do another video where I'm actually showing you guys what we found underneath all of this soil. Because these plants did come from Lowe's, so those are typically overwatered and overfed to get really big. So we'll see what we've got here in just a sec. All right guys, so let's talk about what we found once we got all the water off of these guys. And so this one, and these have set for a little bit too, so take that into to consideration because they are starting to wilt or dry a little bit, which for some of them is not a problem. This guy, you know, some of these will go ahead and bounce back once we get some water. But looking at the roots, I mean, we've really got a pretty decent root system. And I took some shears and cut, I think it was actually this root right here. So I cut that guy and the the root looked really good nice and white in there to sh say that yeah this this root looks good now this little part right here has since we've washed it um not been as happy and as it looks like it'll probably end up falling off but the rest of it looks pretty good um and so i was pretty happy about him we'll get him potted up here shortly and that will help moving on to the lithops that we had so um, once I got all of that off, we did end up having this separate from this. Now, I don't know if that, you know, if it was just from washing and it accidentally got torn, or if these really were just different root systems. They were probably intertwined and, you know, it just popped off there, which neither of these look great, you know, to begin with. This one has definitely shriveled some since it has not been potted, which is what I want it to do because it is definitely etiolated. Um, because it's shriveling, it is a little bit squishy, but looking at the root, I mean, there's definitely some scarring here, but as long as all of that is scarring and we can get it to come back down, there there is a chance for this guy. But again, it's not certainly not ideal and the taproot is not super long, whether that's because it accidentally got ripped off here or not is yet to be seen. Um, our little cucumber guy here, uh, he has a pretty decent long taproot as well. Um, you know, he's got some scarring as well. He has not shriveled as much. You know, he definitely has, like I said, that scarring, but nothing, you know, he's not shriveled as much as I thought he would. So. We'll see. Uh, the jury's still out on whether he's really got a chance or not, um, just because of how big he is. So, then we'll go into our split rock here. And this guy looks pretty good. You can see there's some of the some of the soil left in this guy. Again, I cut his, a little piece of his root and found it to be nice and white since he has been unpotted. And once I got all of that down, what I did find is this leaf right here. And it's pretty well dried up and shriveled. The only concern that I have is whether this is an indication that maybe there was some stacking and that this pair had not totally shriveled before this pair and so on and so forth. But it could just be a normal, you know, this guy didn't have anywhere to go when it shriveled up or nobody pulled it off once it was totally shriveled. Um, and it could be totally fine. So these guys are definitely a little asymmetric, but overall not bad. So 
have good hope for him. This split rock certainly looks excellent. You know, the the leaves are dying off. We've definitely only got these this pair of leaves. We don't have, you know, three sets of leaves. And you can see where those those old leaves had been where they've shriveled down. So they were a pretty decent size but not excessively large. Um and it's pretty it's doing really quite well. So I'm very happy with it. We'll probably get it in some planting material here soon and then we can see how it does. So that one I have quite good hopes for. And then we've got this guy who is definitely starting to shrivel some here after being unwatered and left out. Um, you know, these guys can get water from the surrounding air from these roots, so it's not like they're totally not getting anything, especially when you, you live in a humid area like I do. So, um, but he looks pretty decent. Again, I cut a small little root and found it to have pretty decent life in it. So I did not trim any other roots. I just looked at one just to see, and then I didn't think it was necessary to go forward with that. And shriveling after not having a whole lot of water, that's certainly normal. And, you know, I think he looks generally pretty good. We'll just see how he progresses. And then the last one. So this is the other big reason. So our little red one looks pretty terrible. Um, it definitely has root rot. So you see all of this right here that you're seeing around the base. That is 100% root rot. There is no saving this guy. This part um, that connects to the tap root is dead and I will not be able to save it. Even if it had a new pair of leaves, which it doesn't, it's just not going to make it. And so this is the biggest reason that once you get them, once you get these plants, you want to, especially if they are, if they're not shipped to you bare root, you want to go ahead and get them out and take a look at them. Because if you've spent a lot of money for this plant and you weren't expecting it to be in bad condition, then that would be something you'd want to contact your seller to see, hey guys, what the heck's happening here? Because this is not something that's just happened. This has been progressing over time. And this is from just poor care, overwatering, you know, under sunlight, all of those things, soil being too wet. So this is the big reason why. So this guy is not going to make it. He has a beautiful, long tap root, but it's just not going to be connected to this plant anymore. And it's just going to keep shriveling up and dying. So... I'm not going to plant him at all, which is sad because it was the only, you know, red split rock that I had. So that's depressing. And you can even see as I pull this apart where it is rotting on the inside. Oh man, that's rough. So that's that guys. I hope that you had some fun and uh, we, the next video I'll get up will be about going ahead and potting these guys up. Thanks.